The next step is the step that we're going to do on boards. All of our boards are interchangeable from day one till now, with the exception of one or two wires that go to only only controls the claws. Um, it doesn't control anything. Everything else is extremely, you know, is completely compatible from the first version to the last version. So with that being said, the first thing we're going to do is look at the main board itself. On the main board, I'm going to start with the, the connectors. This first connection right here is your J1 connector. J1, is, as you see, is it got nuts on each side. That's where your, your claw gantry harness comes down and plugs in. It's going to be generally now um, most recent machines is going to be a, a gray connector with a metal case around it um, that plugs in here and screws on. So that's the first thing. If you're having problems with the machine or something like that, first check that connector. Make sure that connector is seated and where it belongs. The next connector is your J2. That's your J2 connector right there. It's got that big heavy pins on it. Um, that is your power supply connector. That's what actually supplies the power to the board. So, the next next one to look at is going to be, let's start over on this side, that's your J4. Next one is J7. Next one is J6, J3, J10, J5, J8, and J9. And these this one, little one is JA and J12. So with that being said, J12 goes up to your control panel into the meter. The little claw strength meter tells you what the strength is. JA, the four pin connector, goes to your claw. It's going to be a connector that looks like this. It's going to come up and, and wire into it and go over to another one, two pin wire and it goes back up. One goes out to your claw, up into the gantry, and the other one goes up to the control panel. So, with that being said, all the rest of these connectors, you know, it, it is self explanatory, of course, in the, in the machine and the manual, but all these connectors do that same thing. So. Then the next one you want to look at are your fuses. This is your F1 fuse. F1 fuse is for your up-down motor. That's the only thing it controls is your up-down motor. It don't control left and right, front and back. So if you have an up-down motor problem, the first thing you want to do is check your F1 fuse. This over here on the side between this big round capacitor and the end of the relay is your F2 fuse. F2, the only thing it controls is your claw closing. So if you have a claw closing problem and you don't have power on the meter in the door, then go straight and look at this and see if that's got a problem first. Anytime I'm talking to you about relays, these are the seven relays. Number one is opposite end of the big capacitor. So you got number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Number seven is for your claw to close. That's the only thing it does. All the, the going twos. So the first two is front to back. One's forward, two's back. So with that being said, in order to come back to the front, let's say one is to the back, two is to the front, it uses one to, to make two operate. So if one's bad, two will never work. So that's kind of the way they work together. With that being said, the next, these are your, your seven relays. One on the edge of the board, seven is down by the capacitor. Then you got your dip switches. Number one is towards the corner. One, two, three, and four. Four is closest to your relays. The 42 pin chip right below it, it could have something on it. It could say what it says there. It could say Route 66 or Smarties. Generally, it'll say something on it. That is, that is your EEPROM that tells the board what to do and what it's, what it's supposed to do. It's program chips. Over here to, next to the relay, you got two smaller versions of that chip. One's a 32 pin, which is the lower one, and that's at uh, IC37. 
IC37 is a 32 pin chip. That's our sound chip. That's that's right there is going to tell you, you know, what the, the sounds for Smarty Crane or Plush Cranes, uh, World Cup, whatever the sounds are. Um, and the sounds are directly related. If I've got a Route 66 and I put a Smarty sound chip in it, it will not work. It'll do weird things. So, you know, if somebody has all those that are trying to swap them out, you have to swap both of them together, just so you know. The LED lights are on here. So you've got four lights. LED 1, 2, and 3 are right here in this circle. Three together. LED 4 is by itself. 1, 2, and 3 are the three stages of your claw. 4 is your sensor. So if any of these three ever come on and the machine's locked up, you got a display locked up or something, and not doing anything, you got two lights or three lights on, turn the machine off, let it sit for a little while, and then turn it back on. You might get an 08 error code, these lights will be on. Um, that usually, when anytime you have those lights on and you're not in the middle of the claw closing, that's going to cause the problem is gonna, it's something's locked up in your CPU. So, dead center is your pot that's a potentiometer, and that's for your, your volume control. Only one on the whole board. It's the only place it's put in all of our machines. It's always on the board. On the earlier versions of this board, this this four pin connector used to be here in the middle and either you had three pots which represented these three lights or you had four wires which was a neutral and three wires coming from where those three pots used to be and they went to that little connector plug that I was just showing you okay they come out of the out of the board like this with that connector plug so basically we had a board with three pots then we move the board with the connect this connector in the center of the board. Then we move to this board where the connector comes off on the side. That's the only difference in all of our boards. Other than that, they're all the same. Okay. With that being said, I think most of our board stuff is done. Um, I do have, when I do repairs here, you'll end up with a board like this over here. And you'll have relays like these. These relays are, re are removable. Uh, they're socketed relays. This board is not. It's They're soldered in. So for you to get them out, you have to unsolder them. For this one, you just pop just pop the relay pretty hard and it undoes the, the hot glue. Pull the relay out, move it over, move another one in place. And that's the easiest way for you to test those to see if they're working. And that's the end of the boards.